welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Black Orchestra. This is a 1-5 to five player cooperative dice rolling hand management pick up and deliver game where you take the role of historical conspirators trying to assassinate Hitler during World War II. You will be moving, searching, drawing cards, and rolling dice trying to carry out a plot to assassinate Hitler and win the game. While there's only one winning condition, there are three ways in which you can lose the game. By having all of the conspirators in prison, by running out of event cards to draw, or by drawing the document's located card in stage 7. Now that we know what the winning condition and losing conditions are, let's take a look at the components setup and how gameplay works in Black Orchestra. Now let's take a look at the components. You have the main game board. You have your difficulty tiles. Item tiles. Leader tiles. Event cards. Conspirator cards. Interrogation cards. Dice. Reference sheet, conspirators sheets, pawns, and tracking cubes. Now let's look at the setup. There are 10 steps with setup, and we're going to be setting this up for a two-player game. Step one, place the main game board in the center of the play area and the leader tiles. Leader tiles go on the spaces with the matching symbols. Step 2, shuffle and place item tiles on each space with a black square. Step 3, choose difficulty and place the tracker and difficulty tile. Step 4, separate shuffle and place event cards by stage number. First, separate by stage number, then shuffle each stack. Then remove two from each stack and place each stage across the top of the main board. Step five, shuffle and place the conspirator cards. Step six, shuffle and place the interrogation cards. Step seven, create your dice pool. Step 8, choose a conspirator and take a pawn and two trackers of the same color. Step 9, place trackers on the starting motivation and suspicion. Step 10, place pawns and choose the starting player. All pawns will start at the train station, and the player wearing the most black is the starting player. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. Players are going to take turns until the players either win or lose the game. To win the game, players must succeed in a plot attempt to assassinate Hitler. There are three options for the players to lose the game. All players can wind up in prison, or you can run out of event cards, or the optional document's located card is drawn. There are three steps to a player's turn. Check for Hitler and deputies, take up to three actions, and draw an event card. Now let's take a look at each step in detail. Step one, check for Hitler and deputies. If you start your turn in the same space as Hitler or a deputy, or multiple deputies, you will suffer a penalty or penalties for multiple deputies. The penalties are on the deputy and Hitler tiles. Step two, take up to three actions. You may take actions multiple times except the conspire action. There are nine actions that you can take. The first is action. You would resolve an arrow effect in your dossier or your conspirator sheet. These are the ones that have the arrow symbols. Second, collect item. This is where you will take a revealed item in your location and add it to your conspirator sheet. Third, conspire. Once per turn, you may take up to three dice 
one per action spent, and then roll the dice and resolve the effect. Any eagles rolled would make your suspicion go up one. This is for the person rolling the dice and anyone in their location. If you rolled a target, you would place the die on the descent track. Once there are three dice on the descent track, you can choose one of two options. You can choose one conspirator to raise their motivation by one, or you could lower Hitler's military support by one. For any numbers rolled during the conspire action, you would add the numbers, and that is how many actions you would add to your turn. This action is to represent conspiring in either drawing suspicion or adding to the target of Hitler. The fourth type of action is deliver item. When an item is collected, you may uncover a deliver location where you may go and discard the item to lower suspicion. Players in prison cannot gain benefits from deliver item actions. Fifth is dossier. Take the top card of the conspirator deck and play it to your dossier face up. Dossier limits are found on your conspirator sheet based on players and motivation. Lightning symbols mean illegal cards. Many of these cards are discarded after resolving their effect. The sixth type of action is move. You may move from your current space to an adjacent connected space that has less than or equal to your stage number. Berlin locations are always accessible. In order to leave Berlin, you must go through the train station. Certain spaces have immediate modifiers like Paris that only require you to enter the location. The seventh type of action is release. You may attempt to free a conspirator. You cannot have extreme suspicion when you attempt a release. You also have to be in the Gestapo HQ. You will roll one die and resolve. If you roll an eagle, you are arrested, and anything else, the player is released, and you raise your suspicion one. The released player is placed at Gestapo HQ with high suspicion. The eighth type of action is reveal item. You would take an item tile and flip it face up. You would flip up a face down item tile in your location. And then the ninth type of action is transfer. You may give or take one item or card to a conspirator in your location. After you've taken your actions, you would move to step three, draw an event card. You'll draw the top card from the lowest number event deck available and place it face up on the current event space. Stages change when the first card of the stage is flipped over. When drawing a key event, on the next turn, move that event card to the side next to the key event location on the board. Key events are discarded when the next stage begins. At the beginning of stage seven, move everyone to a legal space if they are on one of the cutoff locations. When you draw a Gestapo raid event, you would perform three steps. Step one, conspirators with extreme suspicion are arrested. Step two, for each illegal card, you either discard the card or keep it and raise your suspicion by one. And then step three, return all descent track dice to the dice pool. Now let's look at being arrested. When you are arrested, you immediately discard all illegal cards and move to the prison. When in prison, your turn is two steps. Step one, draw an interrogation card, secretly choose an option on that card, and then read your choice aloud. Then step two, draw an event card. Then turns would continue going around until players are ready to and attempt an assassination plot. When you attempt an assassination plot, you take four steps. Step one, have all of the items and suspicion at the level to act on a plot. Step two, build the dice pool. You will have one die for the required items, and then you'll add die from optional elements, such as the optional items, affiliation, and meeting. Step three, discard any number of die from your dice pool. Step four, you will roll all of the dice in your dice pool and resolve the effect. If you rolled eagles greater than or equal to the suspicion limit, then the plot fails and is detected. If this happens, you would follow five steps. One, ignore all target results. Two, discard the attempted plot card. Three, move Hitler to the chancellery. Four, all conspirators lower their motivation by one, and five, you are arrested. If the number of 
eagles rolled is less than the suspicion limit, and the number of targets rolled is lower than the military support, the plot fails but not detected. There's no penalty, and you may continue your turn as usual. And then finally, if the number of eagles rolled is less than the suspicion limit, and the number of targets rolled is greater than or equal to the military support, the plot is successful, Hitler is assassinated, and you win Black Orchestra.